I welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm gonna tell you the top top 20 features that you have to use with Alexa right now. So if you have Alexa Show 10, Alexa Show 5, or Alexa Dot, tell me in the comments if you have Alexa at your home. It's very useful. And it can help you start your day. So, I'm going to put chapters into the description below if you want to skip any part of this video. And like this video if this helps you a lot. And I'll give you 20 Alexa features you should use right now. And they can be very useful if you plan on buying an Alexa device. Let me know in the comments below and I'd love to hear from you. I got 20, you're going to hear them from me. One, you have to use a Bluetooth speaker as your Echo Show or Dot. So, if you have an Alexa Dot, it doesn't go to show on the screen. If you have Alexa Show or 10 or 15, it's going to show... Your device, the name of the device, and if you play music, it's gonna show the artist or song you're gonna play. So it's Alexa you can use is an Echo's Bluetooth speaker. This is a cool feature you should use. Let me know if you tried this Echo Bluetooth speaker. It's a cool way for you to hear music or any anything you want to put like news. It can, might be a music or genre you might like. But if you try to put your blue, you could say, Alexa, connect my phone or connect my Bluetooth or search devices. So, number two, change the wake word. So, you can change. There are four types of wake words you can change. You might change to computer, uh, Alexa, Amazon, or computer. The four types you should use to change the wake word. For me, I change Alexa. But what is your wake word? What? How do you? How do you ask Alexa to respond to you things? I would love to hear from you. And what is what? Is, why are you going to change your wake word? How you're going to ask Alexa to respond to you things? So. If you change the wake word to computer, it's 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 a little bit, but if you change your wake word to computer, she'll do everything for you. Number three of my features. Enable follow-up mode. This is a cool feature when you say Alexa, and it's gonna it, it can, can it can hear you more than one time. So if you use an enable fob mode, if you use this feature, it's very useful to you all. If you use fob mode to not ask Alexa to respond to you more than once, it can respond to you two times or three times. It can always hear you. It can always help you if you enable fob mode. Tell me down in the comments if you use FOB mode. And do you like this feature number three or not? So I use FOB mode. And it's very useful for me. And is it useful for you? Four of my features. You can rename your Echo Dot. Or you have a sh Echo Show, you can rename it. So... Do you re rename your Echo device? I rename my Echo device, my Echo de 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 device, and I, I renamed it. My Echo renamed device is Luigi's Echo Show. That's my personal device. What is your personal device? And if you go on Amazon, you go to Echo Show or Jean or Echo Dot, it's going to give you the cost. I have two devices around my house. So the Echo shows in my living room and an Echo dots in my garage. This is very useful for me. But for you, is it useful for you to rename your Echo device? Let me know. 
Number five, use a default music service. For me, I use Amazon Music. D and if you want to put your Spotify account on Amazon, Alexa app. If you want to put your Spotify's Alexa app, you may do so. For my default music is Amazon Music. It's so much better for me. I don't use Spotify because it doesn't put the music that I want. And for my next video, I'm going to do Alexa should stop suggesting stuff. Suggesting. Like, it's, it better stop asking for similar artists on your Alexa device. This is going to be my next video that I'm going to talk about. How to don't let Alexa suggest similar artists. I'll do that next. Number six, use Alexa Guard. This is so important to you all. So if you use Alexa Guard, it's going to... It's going to send your devices, but you can do it for two reasons. One, you have to use for glass breaking. If an intruder comes in your home, if he's going to have a mallet or something to break in your glass, Alexa can sense it. She can hear it, and she'll send it to your phone. So, I'm going to talk about another feature in this video. But for now, we're going to talk about Alexa Guard. If you use Alexa Guard and, sh and you have more than one device, let me know in the comments below. But Alexa Guard is a good feature you have to use. If you are able away, it's going to sense it. Number seven. Number seven. If you have an Echo Show... Or an Echo Show 5 or 10 or 15. You can use as a security camera. Or you have an Echo Show 10 or 15. Right? So if you go to your Alexa app. Or, I mean not Alexa app. But if you go to your Echo Show 10, 5 or 15. Go to settings and find camera. You're going to see this top bar. It's going to say home secure monitoring. You have to enable this because if you like, if you drop into your Alexa smart speaker, it can show, it cannot, sh it can show the screen. But if you have to do the Alexa security camera, if you go drop in into your Alexa app, it's going to show something detected. So number eight. That, I told you on number six, you need to use Alexa Guard. But there's another feature that was enabled five years ago. It was use away lighting. So if you have like five lights in your home, I have three smart lights. I have it on able. One away light is in my front porch. One is in my my father's office, and one is in my backyard. So if you use away lighting, if you have a smart light, it's a good way for you to make sure no one's home. And if you turn on like cigar, you have away light. I have three. It will turn off automatically when you're not home. So you don't know if it's off. So number nine in my features, you, you have to use drop-in. It's a cool way for you to know that some intruder is going to come. So if you use drop-in, you get to see what's going on around your home. So if you're at Disney, for an example, you're at Disney having fun, you're seeing everyone, Disney characters, you go into your Alexa app, and pick Echo Show 5. Or you have a 10, a 15 Echo Show. You have to use it. You know why? Because if you're Disney and you're not home, no one's around you. No one's even near you. Use the Alexa app and go to drop it if you have an Echo Show. So you're going to see what's going on around your home. 
If you're in Brazil and you're not in your home, you have to use the Alexa security feature. Number 10. You can play games with your Alexa device. You can ask Alexa, play our joke. Or sing me a song for me to give me in a good mood. So if you ask Alexa to play trivia or play a song quiz, Alexa can do this automatic. You don't need to use your hands to control. So if you use Alexa to play you a game or ask Alexa like, Alexa, what are the games you have that we could play? Alexa would tell you how to play this game. She'll give you random games. And if you enjoy this game, give it a rate. A five-star rate. So if you... Do you use Alexa to play games? You may, you may know it's true. Number 11. Use brief mode. Have you heard brief mode? You have to enable in your Alexa app. So here's what you're going to do. Go to your Alexa app. Go to Alexa devices. And enable brief mode. It can talk to you softly. But here's another feature that I'm going to tell you on number 12. You need to try it. But for 11, use brief mode. Brief mode is an, a feature that Alexa can talk to you softly. Do you use brief mode on your home, on your Alexa devices? I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. But if you use brief mode, Alexa control your, control your home easier. I have two Alexas near, one Alexa's near me right now, so she's not here. Number 12. You need to use whisper mode. Use whisper mode in your Alexa devices. So, for an example, say, play Bruno Mars. If you whisper and say Bruno Mars, she'll whisper to you back. So, if you... I don't use whisper mode. None of my family members can hear her. But do you use whisper mode? If you use whisper mode, it's a good feature that she could talk to you softly. And if you don't whisper to her, she doesn't hear you back. So I have an Echo Show 5, but it's not in whisper mode. So let me know if you use whisper mode. I have a f seven more features you all should hear. Make sure you stick all the way to the end and give this a thumbs up. Number 13, you have a cool feature I could try. Change your voice speed. In the, any device you can change with voice speed. If you have an Echo Show genre, Echo Show 10 or Echo Dot. There are lots of Echo Dots out there if you purchase on the Amazon app. So I prefer you to try voice speed. If you ask Alexa, Change my voice speed up to 5%. It's going to talk faster to you. And if you ask Alexa, Alexa, change my voice speed to volume 1. It's going to talk to you slowly. As it slowly gets to the volume that you should try the most. So let me know. Do you try voice speed with your Alexa devices? It may be a cool feature you could try. Number 14. Do you try Amazon Sidewalk? So I'll tell you what Amazon Sidewalk is. Amazon Sidewalk is if and if your neighbors have Alexa devices, you enable it. Your Wi-Fi goes to this Amazon Alexa devices. So let me tell you this specifically. So if you have an Alexa device and you enable Amazon Sidewalk, all the people out there, if you have a neighbor or next door neighbor, if they have an Alexa device, your Wi-Fi goes to your Alexa devices if, if your neighbor has one. So if your neighbor has an Alexa device, 
There, if you enable Amazon Psywalk, they go to this neighbor. Number 15. Use Alexa routines. I use like 20 Alexa routines. My day gets better if I use Alexa routines. And if you use Alexa routines, it'll start your day. I'll give you two examples for number 15. Say you have a smart light. You have two smart lights in your living room. And you, you're you going to turn on them in sunset. Or sunrise. And you're going to ask them to tell your delivery dates. And you can also put them the brief news or anything. So if you use Alexa routines to start your day. Let me know down in the comments. Do you use Alexa routines? And do you also use them every day? If you use them every day, good. Y you're officially an Alexa member. Number 16, use Alexa reminders. So if you have parents or you have a brother or sister, if you have any family member, add them to your Alexa app. I have a father named Luis Machado. So I'll say, Alexa, remind Luis Machado. And she'll say, what time? Remind Luis Machado to do laundry at 5.30 in the evening. Then she'll remind Luis Machado. Because he's my father and he's also my family member. So if you use Alexa reminders to, to tell you, like, take my dog outside. At, like, 8.30 in the morning she can remind you that fast if you snap your fingers so if you use alexa reminders let me know number 17 17 is if you got a fire tv in your home or you have a sony tv you can use that to ask alexa what do you want to watch a tv for an example Alexa, turn on my fire TV, and I want to watch, like, Bubble Guppies. And Alexa can do this automatic. She can do it automatic for you. So if you use, if you have a fire TV or Sony's TV, you can ask her to turn on the, t Alexa, turn on my Sony's TV, turn off my fire TV. If you have a smart TV, it can control by Alexa. Boom! You have your you have your favorite show to watch or your favorite movie to watch. Let me know if you use this feature. Number 18. If you have a ring doorbell, if you don't like when it should it gets in your home, buy a ring doorbell for a, a hundred bucks on Amazon. If you have a ring doorbell. I have a ring doorbell, and it's perfectly good. So if you have a ring doorbell, it would tell you who's at the front door. It's perfect to use Alexa routines. If you, my Alexa routine is, if someone rings the doorbell, it's going to alert both of my devices in my garage and in my living room. So if you use Alexa routines to use your, your ring doorbell, it's a good feature for you to try. Let me know in the comments if you have a ring doorbell around your home. It's a perfect way for you to know if there's an intruder at your door. If you're safe. So number 19. Use Alexa Groups. If you have Alexa Group in your app, then try Alexa Groups. Say, I, I can say Alexa Put in my, put, play Frank Sinatra and put in my f everywhere group. You have two, you have, you can put one group. Say you have four Alexa devices in your home, you can put them in one group. I'll say Alexa, play Frank Sinatra on my everywhere group. And she'll turn Frank Sinatra on and all the Four Alexa devices is going to play automatic for eight hours. So, if you made an Alexa group, good, and tell me in the comments below. 
And I have one more feature to share to you. So the last feature I have for you is number 20. Number 20. If you go to your Alexa settings and go to Alexa Workout. If you run or jog in your neighborhood, she can track your miles. She can track everything. If you run, you walk. If you have a bike or a scooter, use Alexa Workout to make your day easier. Say, not in the morning, I want to walk in the neighborhood. Use Alexa Workout to give you the strength you need. So if you use Alexa Workout and you go to settings and you go to Alexa Workout, if you run in the neighborhood or you, you walk around each day around your home, let me know in the comments if you use Amazon War Alexa Workout. So number 21, my call to action. So I told you the 20 features you should try with your Alexa devices. I'm going to ask you a question in the comments below. My question is, do you have an Alexa device? It could be a Da, an Echo Show 5, or an Echo Show 10 or 15. But do you use Alexa devices? And my question is, do you use Alexa? I go Alexa to make your day better. And how do you feel using Alexa? Do you be, feel happy? You feel confident, sad? But my question is, how do you feel if you have an Echo Dot? How do you feel of using it to make your day brighter? Do you love Alexa a lot? Let me know. But i love to hear from you in the comments if you decided to send me something in YouTube. So I'll see you later. And my next video is going to be why does Alexa suggest stuff for music? In my two videos, I'm going to do about the, the smart ball, bolt. I'm going to do one on Google Home Tips. Don't miss any of these two videos I'm going to do for you.